now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive bad ballots. We've uncovered that hundreds of ballots had to be remade by hand in the last election. It happened to many voters who went to their town hall to vote early. Turns out if there was a problem with your ballot, a state employee may have filled out another one for you. And elections officials believe it happened more in this most recent election than others. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. Few people may realize their ballot can be filled out by someone else if there is an issue and it's perfectly legal. But election officials tell me after this year, they want to make changes. Take a close look at these two ballots, both for the same Portsmouth precinct. But can you spot the difference? The ballot on the left is missing a black border of dots, but it wasn't spotted until it was shipped all the way back to the Board of Elections in Providence and scanned on Election Day. Without that border, the scanner, called a DS-200, rejected it. If you vote at the polling place and it goes through the DS-200, you know right away that that's a problem and you can fix it. With an emergency mail ballot or any mail ballot, you don't know that. Stephen Erickson is the vice chairman of the Board of Elections. He says when an emergency emergency ballot from a city or town doesn't scan on election day, staff there remakes a new one. People are going to hear that and go, wait a minute, somebody at the Board of Elections can take my ballot and fill out a new one on my behalf? It's done in public and we take a pair of people and we look at the ballot that was submitted and then we look at a blank ballot and then we fill in the blank ballot to reflect everything that's on the ballot that was submitted. Here's what's happening in most cases. Emergency ballots cast up to 20 days before an election are printed at local city and town halls by this machine called a ballotar. But by law, it can't be scanned by this machine until Election Day at the Board of Elections in Providence. So how often did these ballots have to be remade? Well, it's hard to compare to previous elections because this is a newer system, but election officials tell me the number of remade ballots were up in 2018 and some communities had more than others. According to data requested by Target 12, there were more than 1,200 ballots remade by hand in the 2018 election. Warwick had the most at 262. Compare that to just 69 in all of Providence. So I think that the problem was that we didn't know that Warwick had a machine that was not printing the ballots out exactly as they were supposed to be printed. Has the Board of Elections talked to the vendor about the problem? Yes. What are they telling you? We're, we're working it out. That, that's something that we only discovered on Election Day. Erickson says the original ballots marked with an O are kept in case they need to be audited down the road. Portsmouth, Jamestown, and Westerly also had a higher number of remade ballots. We have a town-by-town -town list on our website, WPRI.com. New at 6, Erickson says the board has a solution to this problem. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. Now at 6, new details in our Target 12 investigators' exclusive bad ballots. As we reveal live at 5, more than 1,200 ballots had to be remade by a state employee on Election Day. The problem was with the emergency ballots that are printed on demand at your local city or town hall in advance. And new at 6, election, election officials have what they say is a solution to the problem, but it will take changing a state law to make it happen. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. If you can't get to the polls on Election Day, you can vote an emergency mail ballot up to 20 days in advance. The ballot is printed on demand at Town Hall, but the problem is it isn't scanned until days or weeks later on Election Day. Bad ballots, like this one, which is missing a border of black dots, can't be read by these scanners called a DS-200. On Election Day, not a problem, because voters know when their ballot is rejected right away. But with emergency ballots, the problem isn't known until it's too late. So they have to be remade by someone else at the Board of Elections. To a lot of people watching this, they'll it'll be new to them. That, sure. that remakes happen. Right. And, they, and some of them it are going to... It was new to me. Was when it? I got on the board, I said, what are we doing? Board of Elections Vice Chair Stephen Erickson says the ballots are remade in public with witnesses. 
What happens to the original, the, the ballot that was rejected? They're kept. We don't destroy the originals, so there's, there's always the opportunity to review that, yes. You can see on this ballot a handwritten O to mark the original. The R stands for remake. Voters don't know when their ballots are remade because the scanning happens on Election Day in Providence. Erickson says this year the main culprit was often a printer that spit out a ballot that was a little off. On the other hand, if we had the machine that could read the ballots on site, then we could say, your ballot was rejected. Uh, do you want to refill it out again? Erickson says they want the law changed, so the scanning can happen right then and there at city and town halls. The votes wouldn't actually be counted until Election Day. We believe that ballots need to be fed into the machine by voters. John Marion of Good Government Group Common Cause Rhode Island says there's another solution. In-person early voting. That's where a voter could cast a ballot at their city or town hall in the weeks leading up to Election Day, just like they do at the polls. Depending on how you count, 38 states uh, have in-person early voting of some type. Erickson says the board also supports early voting. So far, lawmakers have rejected it. As we reported at 5, several communities had more bad ballots than others. We have a town-by-town -town list on our website, WPRI.com. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.